Hey, what's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and we are back once again to talk a bit about um, some of the things going on in the Destiny community. It's been a rather eventful week and weekend for the game of, uh, of D2 and the community surrounding it. We had a wild week last week, of course, where we got the state of the game from Joe Blackburn. And man, was it chock full of good information. We learned about the end of sunsetting. We learned about some changes with the Witch Queen. It's going to have its release date pushed back until early 2022. So we thought it was going to be coming out around September sometime this year, but that's actually being pushed back until early next year. And they kind of sandwiched that pill in amongst all the other good news that was in the article, like Vault of Glass is coming back next season. We're going to be getting a master version of Vault of Glass later in the season. We're getting Transmog, I think, starting next season. All this other insane stuff was in this article. And if you happen to miss any of that news, I did have a video covering it right here on the channel. I have a link to that down in the description box below. But for those of you out there who uh, are, are in the know when it comes to Destiny, you know one other big news story popped up over the course of the weekend. Well, really two. First, we had this amazing glitch going on right now where you can kind of gather 12 people in instanced activity. So you can go run a 12-person raid right now. You can go run a 12-person nightfall. You can run all kinds of 12-man content. By taking advantage of some of the matchmaking uh, stuff that we used to do with, like, Escalation Protocol to get all, you know, a bunch of people all together to go run that event. And it has just created some absolute shenanigans. A bunch of my buddies in the Destiny community have been like running raids and whatnot with 12 people and just seeing the havoc that that causes. And for the most part, outside of the connection errors, it works pretty well and it makes me hopeful for larger scale activities in the future. It looks like this might have been caused by Bungie messing around with some of their, their parameters for crossplay. We do know that's going to be starting some alpha testing next season as well, with a full rollout in season 15. It seems like this, uh, this glitch might be tied to some of the work they're doing with that. Maybe the developers forgot to comment out a line or two and <laughs> it accidentally expanded things a bit. But it makes me hopeful. That, de that Bungie in the future is going to be creating, maybe they will make a 12-man raid. Maybe they will make some sort of 12-man PvE activity. I think there's a, p a potential for a lot of fun to be found in that. But that glitch, my friends, was just the tip of the iceberg when it came to this weekend. Because shortly following that, we learned about something going on in Trials that uh, is both hilarious and also good enough to get the game mode cancelled for a couple of hours as Bungie had to do before they brought it back online for people who had already gone flawless. Essentially, there was some win trading going on in Trials of Osiris, and the way people kind of came up with this is actually somewhat brilliant. So this is how the story started. Trials Report, which is one of the websites and Twitter accounts that track statistics within Destiny. They put out a report early in the weekend that said this. According to our data, nearly 50% of the players entering Trials went flawless on PC this week. Seems a bit high, so we looked into it. It turns out that of the 23,661 flawless PC players so far, 11,281, aka 48% of them, have zero kills this week. 16,300%, which is about 69%, so, you know, nice, have five kills or less. Meaning a ludicrous amount of people were going flawless on the PC platform, which does have a smaller player base than the console platforms, but a ludicrous amount of people were going flawless without having any kills. This was curious to Trials Report and a lot of other people who started looking into it, and what they found was glorious. My friends, let me introduce you to the Haka method. Bungie recently implemented game rejoining in Trials, so for people who maybe lose their connection or get booted out of a game, they'll be able to rejoin their friends and still, uh, and, and, and still be able to get into that game and not have to start over their card. This has created an opportunity for an entire community to burst forth, and this is what these people were doing. They basically made a tacit agreement amongst themselves. You have two of the people on your team run the Haka emblem, with one person running whatever emblem they want. And generally you want to do this on a burner or on an alt account with your main character ready to jump into the wings when the time comes. 
but you utilize the Hakka emblem to identify yourself as somebody who is using this method. Generally, you'll try to match up with other people who are also using the Hakka emblem. And when you do happen to match a team who's also got two members using the Hakka emblem, you send a friend request to the one person who isn't using that. Once you've got them added, you basically use uh, Steam's macro system to send a randomized number between 1 to 10 to that person. It's a little code you can basically type in, like slash random 1 to 10, and it'll pick a number from 1 to 10, and they'll do the same. And whichever one of you gets the highest number out of the two, that determines which of your teams is going to catch a win in this game, and which team is going to catch an L. So, the team with the higher number will have two people swap characters and change their characters to their main card to get a win and join back on that one teammate who will remain in game. While the team who gets the lower number will wait for the winning team to change their characters and join back, and then when you're all back, you leave the game and go back into the queue. You don't even have to play through the match, just leave the game, it'll count as a, a win for the winning team, and then they can swap back to their burners and move on to the next match. And just like that, you have a brilliant way to guarantee a flawless card. Because again, remember, you're always going to be on your alt when you're starting this method, and you only swap to your main characters if you win the random battle between numbers there. So in one fell swoop, this community has kind of built itself up overnight and has turned winning trials into a bit of a casino game. Whichever team gets the higher number gets the win for the match. Losing team just waits for them to do their thing, drops out, goes back into queue. And I have to say, it's kind of brilliant. This method shows that a community of people have just come together to cut all of the stress and the pain of running trials and, and playing against cheaters, especially here on PC. Just cut all of that out and created their own specific method for getting the loot that they want to go after. So much so that Bungie wound up having to disable trials and then ultimately re-enable it for people who have already gone flawless. So the people who were abusing this weren't really affected at all. But just thinking about the system of work required for people trusting one another to actually do this method, all of that coming together to create what we've got here, it's just such a brilliant system to show kind of the ingenuity of people who are gonna get their loot one way or another. And while I know it's caused a bunch of problems for the Bungie devs back at home, I'd be lying to you if I didn't say I wasn't really impressed with the people who came up with this. It's really an ingenious way to kind of allow a fair allocation of this in-game loot. And while it's definitely going to be patched probably before Trials this coming weekend, or Bungie's probably just going to uh, disable Trials until they can figure this out, I will say in the short run, this has been a really interesting sort of social experiment when it comes to Trials. And while it should be patched and will be patched, it is somewhat wholesome to just see this kind of community manifest out of thin air, of people who are out there just kind of fairly and sh in a stress-free way, getting and sharing their own trials loop. For the most part, they weren't hurting each other like hackers do on PC every single day and every weekend in trials, because that's still a major problem on the platform. This was just a community of people who just kind of quietly got together and decided, yeah, we're going to go get our flawless trials loop, but we're going to do it in a, a less stressful, less offensive way. <laughs> on some level, I definitely have to respect that. So if you were out there and you were thinking, I'm going to go and brave the wilds of Trials of Osiris this weekend and found that the game mode wasn't available, well, now you know why. And I just wanted to take a little bit of time and share all of that with you. I thought it was pretty funny this weekend. But alright, that's it for this one guys. Be sure to leave me your thoughts on the Trials Haka method down in the comment section below. How do you feel about the people who were able to go flawless this weekend and probably in weekends prior? This has probably been going on for a little while now, basically ever since Bungie added the ability to rejoin Trials. However you feel about this, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But now for now, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You guardians, stay frosty.